14, Hey everybody, I just recently got back from my yearly South Carolina trip. Every year I go down there this time of year and it's always 70 degrees and sunny and beautiful. It's always a great time. I go down there and do some squirrel hunting and the same weekend they actually have the Southeastern Tree and Walker Days. And a few years ago I was lucky enough to meet the Nichols family. They're a really great family down there that let me come stay with them and we do some pleasure hunting and they have the world hunt that weekend. So it makes for a really, really great trip. And you'll see in this video, the scenery is beautiful, the people are wonderful. And actually, if you watch all the way to the end, the world hunt was decided with two seconds left in the final cast. I've never seen anything like it. And it was an amazing thing to experience live and in person. And I know it comes through great in the video. So if you stick around to the end, you won't be disappointed. It is a great, great video. But before we get into the video, I just wanna say thank you to those of you out there on Patreon who subscribe and make this possible. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to do this. I really appreciate being able to be funded by my viewers. And if you enjoy my videos and you would check out more, if you wanna get access to my podcast, get early access to the videos, see some behind the scenes footage or contact me directly, you can check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. You can go on the internet and just go to www.patreon.com slash starkoutdoors or you can actually download the Patreon app and look me up on there. So once again, just a big thank you out there and thank you to the Nichols family for having me down and the South Carolina Squirrel Hunters Association. It's always a great time and I look forward to going back next year. But I won't keep you waiting any longer. Here's your 2024 NKC World Hunt. Before we get going, do you want to introduce yourself what dog you're hunting? I'm Mac Morrow, and I'm hunting Boone. Hey, I'm Brian Farrell, and I'm hunting Kid Rock Dog. Yourself what dog you hunt? Yes, sir. I'm DD, and I'm hunting Festus 2 for Glenn Rogers. Thank you. Somebody, somebody got the clock. Y'all running time, everybody good? Somebody got the clock. Right, yeah. Rock to He had a squirrel, it just timbered. Now I'm working.
Boone at 125 plus, Festus 2 125 plus, and Rock 125 circle. Thank you. Boom tree. Yeah. It come out and it's sitting on the top going around the circle. Yeah. That dead tree. Oh, the dead tree. Yeah, left over right there. It's a flying squirrel. What's what's the rule on that? It's deleted or So it's plus. I thought I remember that from last year. I think that came out. I think it's the only one it does that I'm aware of. So who got that? You took 125, I took 50. On to yours. Yeah. Do they smell the same, I wonder? It's a squirrel and they live in the same place as other squirrels. What was that? Something hit a hog? You go a tree? Are you fitting to be a Mac Mart over there? Put them on paper, oh. put them on the paper mat. <laughs> Mac can try to say you get throw one on the paper quick. Can you give me another score update? Oh uh, yeah, let's see. What we got? Got Boone at 225. Got Festus 2 at 250. And 125 plus 125 circle rock. Come on, paper. Hang on paper. Hang on paper. Rock might be eating his lunch in there. Make him move out of the next door. Tree two. Two tree. I'm looking for another flying squirrel. I ain't right. I'm thinking I ain't good. I'm sure hoping there's a leak ball back there, man. <laughs> That sucker is a lot for me. Bunch of stuff broke off, treetops. Going to Boone's tree now. Yeah. 
now, Red. Yep, go. That stick got me right in there. Dude, your eye looks terrible. Okay. Alright. Make sure. Get it there. Do you want to give a score update? You want someone else to do? Oh, let's see. Same as it was a while ago. You got a bone at 220, 225, or 220. You got Festus 2, 250, Rocket 125 plus. Yeah, huh? Put that dog on the paper, man. I would. It's located like that. I throw it right on there. Put him on the paper. He's still young, boys. Still young. I don't mind. So I can tell you right now. He got the meat right that's there. That's the meat. Man, you go put that dog on the paper so we can go get him more. Is that just a dirt road up here? You gotta walk through. Huh? You gonna walk through? Josh, what's the two? I know. Me and Josh was hunting in here a couple years ago. I'm gonna put the station there. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I ain't gonna sit here all day. You're about to go on him right now. <laughs> about done with this now. Keep talking, boy. Keep talking. Let me know when it's up. Let me know when I'm getting good. You got 90 seconds. How long is it? 90 seconds. <laughs> what is it showing up? Three minutes? It is in USDC. I don't know. Festus 2 tree. You're a fool over there. Mike then seen a pretty black one up there the other day. That was a pretty silver one. I got him to find it. He fit with a couple trees on the luck of his back. Now, Red Hat, let's go. Yeah, seven minutes and 50 seconds. Dave, put him on the paper. I can't tell if he will. He's deeper, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Sounds like it, ain't it? That's why I want him. Well, we can't prove it. <laughs> I know. I want him to throw that. He thing. will tell me one, though. Oh, that's what they are. Dude, it got me at Nashville. The blade. We was in overtime. Mine timbered with squirrel, but we was too far away to. You could just tell he moved to the left. Find a tree in there, son. Then I walked up and it was in a perfect nest, and I walked up, pulled the vine, and he. Uh -huh. Got 
So that first round was a lot of fun. And then after the first morning round that Saturday, um, we went back to the club and in between the morning and evening round, they do a bench show and training contest. And that's also a good time to check out too. They both scratch. <laughs> most ugly. Both Jedi's have rolling. Scratch. 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 So later that evening, we all loaded up and headed out for an evening round. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself? What dog you're hunting? Uh, my name is Chad Funk. Uh, my dog I'm hunting today is a uh, Jedi, Palmetto States Jedi. He's out of H2 and Dixie. Uh, but we've been doing good. I've been, uh, this is kind of like the second cast I've ever won and I'm really enjoying it. I, I'm used to going home by now. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow I'm hunting Boone. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my name's Dwayne George. Uh, I'm hunting a dog Reese Cup. She's off of the, uh, I think it's the first cross with um, Little Sniper and Rosebud. She, uh, she'll be, she'll be three in May. I think it's May. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Go. Go ahead and put me on. Uh, Reese has got, was it 100, ain't it? 125. 125 circle. Uh, is this Boone? Yeah. Yes. Boone was treated in a hole, it's deleted. Um, Jedi. Jedi. Jedi come in to Reese's tree if you have nothing. Right. We just got cut loose again. And we got, uh, we have used, yeah, got an hour 954 left.
Circle tree for Boone. Jedi's tree down. Going to his tree now. Ten So at this point, timing it right out in the hunt, and the cast was still tied, and this is pretty interesting. I didn't know this going into it, but apparently if the cast is tied at the end of hunt time, it goes down to a coin flip to decide who wins. So we headed back to the club to see who the winner was. How hard is going to be me if I lose a world record? Who's calling this thing? I'm to crawl to my truck. They're both good, though, man. Well, you should have seen him running. What? Well, you flip it. Just put it on behind your back. Whoever's put you on his pay. I got it! I got the point! I got the point! I got the point! Just put it on your back! Heads! Wait, no! Your heads, your tails, I'm gonna flip to see who calls. How? Tails. Dwayne calls it. Dwayne calls it there. Let me crawl. If you want to eat that blue tube, you don't want it. Tails. Oh, he Heads. Heads. What happened? You got his head. <laughs> what you lost, happened? You lost, man. You lost. You lost. lost. Uh, just stay right there. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. At least, you, at least I can fondle uh, you a little bit. Uh, uh, I'm going. All right, man. See y'all. Y'all be good. All right, guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you again. Good leave, man. Good leave, man. All right. I can get out of your way, too. You think something with you, dog? Where's, oh sorry. Where's this place? Brian, Brian, I know you won't get your picture to it. Come on up there. Bobby, come on, go on up there with him. Y'all put the camera. Hold on, Wayne, hold on. So Chad Funk won the coin toss and his Jedi dog won the cast. Um, later on the next morning, Sunday morning, we headed out to the woods and it ended up being the final cast, H2 against Jedi. H2 is the dad of Jedi, which is pretty neat. Don't see that very often, so the final cast was a father and son. And H2 was handled by Mason, he's 10 years old, and Jedi was handled by Chad Funk. We're hunting the uh, NKC World Championship here, and it's going to be my son Jeremy Nicholas Hunt against Chad Funk. And it's kind of ironic, it's going to be the father dog hunting against one of his sons in the World Championship. And we've got a little Mason Nichols, 10 years old, he'll be he'll be handling the father dog, H2. He's become quite a good little handler. And, uh, not sure exactly where we're gonna hunt at this morning. Do an hour and a half cast. Uh, I think Josh Presley's gonna be the judge on this cast. I know a lot of you know Josh. Josh is a really good dog handler and a good judge too. Had a good good hunt this weekend and actually scored on a lot of squirrels. And it's sure been a pleasure having Clayton Stark here with this video for us. Appreciate everything he's done, helping us out. We got tennis shoe Mike back here. He'll be one of the secondary judges. Yeah, we're gonna be hunting the finals here. Kind of up close to my house there. A little place there we don't ever shoot any in all pretty good squirrel woods and we're going to be hunting the finals right there and Josh and I think Mike will be the judges and uh, be hunting H2 and Jedi 
and H2 is the father to Jedi, so it's going to be a father-son finals here. And I think Mason's going to be handling H2. He's 10 years old and going to be handling, hopefully, to a world championship. Put this light jacket on us. Look like I still might. My name is uh, Chad Funk. Um, I'm from uh, Pendleton, South Carolina, up near Clemson University. Uh, I've been in South Carolina all my life. Uh, uh, um, this dog right here, this is Jedi. Jedi is off of H2, who I'm gonna be hunting again today. And uh, his mother was Palmetto State's Dixie. Dixie, uh, Dixie was my favorite dog, and I always wanted to breed off her and raise something up that could, could compete, you know. So I'm just happy to be able to compete, and hopefully, we're we gonna have a good time on this cast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're here with uh, Mr. Clayton Stark doing some videoing. Uh, Jeremy Nichols will be in the final round of the NKC here in Whitmire, South Carolina. Uh, hunting H2 this morning. Uh, H2 is my Mr. Consistent usually. I hope he's decent, but uh, he's out of Shadow and Hummer, which are uh, two well known dogs in the Kerr Dog world. Uh, but I hope we have a good cast this morning and see if you screw. Superstar! <laughs> Y'all ready? Three, two, one, cut them. Yes, I don't know how to brook. Jedi I just treat one. Yeah, I'm ready now. I got H2 at 125 circle, Jedi at 125 plus, iron 13 minutes left to hunt. It just timbered out as we're walking up. So H2 treed, had a squirrel. Call timeout, we're going over a ways, cut loose again.
Oscar. Dang, you think he's tree? Well, Jedi, Jedi, I can hear him 400. Yeah. Uh, you can hear him way higher than that. I'm on tree. Tree? Not the way you come on that one. Go. Right now we got 23.35 left to hunt. H2 sitting at 125 plus, 250 circle. Jedi's at 125 plus and 250 circle. Tree H2. H2 tree, 125. You wanna walk around, Chad? Or? I'm gonna tree Jedi. Jedi tree, 125. Might be tree. We got H2 at 125 plus, 375 circle. Jedi's at 125 plus, 300, 375 circle. A minute and 44 seconds left. Ten. Five, four, three, two. Three Jedi. Four. Two working. We're gonna do this with sudden death. Broke. Two working. Man, I don't know if I did it. Congratulations, man. Y'all find it. Good job. Yeah. You ain't got to have it. 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 Well, that last little bit right there, I, want, I didn't want to go to sudden death because I'd be doing the same thing. Yeah. I might as well knock it on out. That was gutsy. Yeah, that was gutsy, man. <laughs> that was win or lose right there. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great. I don't know. I didn't think this would ever happen, but I guess I did it. Oh, Jedi did it. Jedi. And it was all genetics. All genetics. He's good dog. <laughs> what was going through your mind there in the last minute of the hunt? 
Well, I knew we was about to have to go into sudden death, so I, I just wait for it. If I could get him to bark one time, right before that clock went out, he let one bark out and I liked tree. <laughs> you know, I was, and luckily he held it. We walked in, he was there. So it's lucky, I, 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 it was mostly luck, you know. I mean, Jedi's a good dog. Me and him pay their dues, you know. So when did you make up your mind you're going to tree him? He barked. How much time was left? You think? Like two seconds left in the whole hunt. You said. And he barked, and yeah. I, I, I didn't want time run out. And he did bark, so I'm like, you know, go ahead and tree him because that's. If I'd went in a sudden death, then I, I believe the other dog would have had a better chance. If I'd went in a sudden dance, uh, I mean, it was the same deal. I was going to have to call the first dog tree. Mm -hmm. so. I, I figured I'd just go ahead and end it in the main hunt, you know. Yeah. Well, congratulations. All right, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so Josh is the one that taught you how to hunt? Yeah, he's the one that taught me how to hunt. <laughs> he's uh, he, uh, When I gave birth to him, I knew I'd produce the slickest handler the world has ever known. So I said, Josh, my son, you need to work with me. Teach me some of those skills. And, and it paid off today. Well, that was just amazing to be a part of and witness firsthand. I'm glad I could record that and share that with you guys. It's a pretty neat moment. Um, if you like these videos and if you like my other videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and leave a like. And if you want to see something specific, you can comment below. And thank you for watching.